Hello class, welcome once again to our uh, lecture for today. So we'll continue our discussion on the curvilinear motion. So this time we are going to solve uh, sample number two. Okay, so are you ready now? Okay, here's the second problem. A team of engineering students designed a medium-sized catapult which launches 8-pound steel spheres. The launch speed is 80 feet per second. That is the initial velocity V sub 0. The launch angle is theta equal to 35 degrees above the horizontal and the launch position is six feet above the ground. The students use an athletic field with an adjoining slope topped by an eight feet fins as shown. Oh, here is the illustration. Okay, so as described, so this is uh, six feet above the ground level. Okay, so this is the catapult. Okay, so it will throw an 8-pound spheres towards this direction. Alright, so now we are asked to determine the time duration, that is the TF of the flight. Okay, so how long uh, will this 8-pound uh, steel spheres fly until it reaches the ground? And B, the XY coordinates of the point of first impact. And C, the maximum height H above the horizontal field attained by the ball. And D, the velocity expressed as a vector with which the projectile strikes the ground or the fence. Then we have to repeat part B for launch speed of 75 feet per second as its initial velocity V sub 0. All right. So here's the solution. So we make the assumptions of constant gravitational acceleration and no aerodynamic drag. With the latter assumption, the 8 pound weight of the projectile is irrelevant. Okay, because of this assumption here. So that's, that would be uh, irrelevant. So using the given xy coordinate system, so we begin the, or we begin by checking the y displacement of the horizontal position of the fence. No? Horizontal position of the fence. Okay. So this is the horizontal position of the fence. So this is the fence. All right. So the horizontal um, position is this one. All right, so from this uh, formula, so take note that this is taken from our uh, discussion, uh, from, from this uh, discussion class. And we have derived that formula from, from this uh, derivation here. But uh, take note that we can use this only for the condition that the acceleration is constant. All right. So from there, you now specifically, uh, if you cannot uh, recall, you know, so we have here this formula. So for the S, this one. Okay, so the displacement, horizontal position of the fence, so it's given by this formula. X, oh, this is X, all right, equal to X sub 0 plus uh, initial velocity or V sub X, initial value of the velocity times time. And initially we have this uh distance here that is 100 plus 30 
all right uh, initially this is zero our x of zero is zero because at x this is zero initially so this uh, then our because there was no initial because uh, the the throwing no the launching of this uh, eight pound steel really started at this uh, point here so at this point at t equal to zero so our x sub zero is is also equal to zero so that's why we have here equal to zero that is our x sub zero plus so the horizontal component this is the horizontal component v sub x v sub x sub zero so the horizontal component here then multiplied by t but v sub x can be solved using the this uh, you have the triangle here okay you can form a triangle here so so if you solve this horizontal component here you just solve uh, using this uh, triangle okay so this is our v sub zero the v sub zero here this is the hypotenuse of this triangle which is 80 and this is our uh, adjacent this is our vx so in this case this is our v sub x sub zero okay and we have the angle here that is equal to 35 degrees uh, 35 degrees okay so from uh, trigonometry so we have the sukatua remember sukatua so cosine for, when you want to solve for the horizontal component you use the cosine so cosine of the angle that is 35 degrees so cosine of 35 so when you speak of uh, cosine so that is uh, adjacent right adjacent what is our adjacent our adjacent is simply uh, v sub zero okay. uh, v sub x uh, v sub x cosine adjacent so this are v sub x So in this case, this is V sub uh, X zero because initially, initially, so we have the self zero uh, divided by adjacent over. Oh, yeah, let me do it again, class. So I think better to write the horizontal first. Okay. So we have V. This is the adjacent. V sub X sub 0. Then divided by the hypotenuse. Where our hypotenuse is equal to uh, V sub 0. Which is 80. Uh, I'll just write it V sub 0. Okay. And we know that V sub 0 is equal to 80 feet per second. So. When you solve for this horizontal component, you just multiply this one. So we have, therefore, uh, when you multiply this V sub 0, okay, V sub 0 is equal to 80. So you have V sub, the horizontal component multiply uh, equal to this, you cross multiply. So that's why you have here 80. Now this is our V sub 0. So we have uh, Vx sub 0. So cross multiplying the denominator so equal to uh, v sub zero multiplied by cosine 
cosine of 35 degrees. Then substituting the value for V sub 0. So our V sub 0 is equal to 80. So 80 uh, cosine of 35 degrees. So problem is very slow class. Okay, so this is it. So this is the value here. Okay, then times t. So you have t here. So times t. So from here, so uh, our x here, x is just the sum. No? This is our x. This is the distance, the coordinate of the fins. So this is our x, which is the sum of 130. So that is 130 equal to this one. Then from here, you can solve for t you know, using our algebraic manipulation. So you can solve t here. That is 1.984 seconds okay so so we have the solved the time no? we have solved the time uh, this time here not from this uh, formula we're able to solve for the time so next we are going to find the uh, coordinate so we have to find the coordinate uh, we have to solve for y here okay because we are asked to solve for the x and y coordinates of the point of first impact. Okay, so we have to use this formula. So from where this formula is taken from? Uh, again, that's taken from the... Okay, so from, from this formula here. Okay, so we have here uh, s equal to s sub 0 plus v plus 1 half 80 squared. But take note, this is a vertical, no? Uh, the problem uh, involves a vertical. This is for the horizontal. So since we are using, we are solving for y, uh, then we have to uh, take the the sign for the gravity. Okay, so this should be uh, negative. So that's why uh, here we use negative here, no? Because uh, we are solving for the y component. Of this so it's y component so we have to make uh, use of the correct sign of our g here so that's why we have a negative here okay so using that formula uh, this formula here uh, instead of s we use y okay we have to use y okay so this is the initial uh, because initially before it starts before the the still spheres is, uh, is uh, thrown by this catapult so at t equal to zero it has already a certain distance which is or certain certain height which is six feet so that's why you have initially your y is sub zero at t equal to zero y i mean in the distance vertical distance equal to y sub zero in this case this is equal to six then uh, now we are solving for the vertical component so here we are we have to solve this part here the the y component of the velocity Okay, so instead of uh, here, we solve for the horizontal, we use cosine. For the vertical, we use sine. So we do the same process. We have su katwa s. So here we have uh, we have used the uh, ka. No? So we use here ka from trigonometry. Ka means cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now for the vertical, so we use uh, uh, so, so, so stands for sine opposite over hypotenuse, hypotenuse. Okay, so we use this for sine of this angle opposite over hypotenuse. So you will get this vertical com component. That is the V sub Y sub zero times T. Okay, so from there, so using this uh, process similar to this, Similar to this process, you you will obtain sine. Now our, our vy here, using this, uh, our vy is uh, vy uh, is equal to vy sub zero is vy sub zero is equal to opposite. Our opposite is this one, which is uh, 
vy opposite Sorry, I it's not clear now. So we'll follow here Vx of zero. So we have to use uh, in this case we have uh, sine of thirty five. Sign of 35 degrees equal to opposite. Our opposite is Vy, V sub Y sub 0 equal uh, divided by hypotenuse, which is V sub 0. Okay, so cross multiplying. Uh, same as in this process, so we will get uh, Vy sub 0 equal to our V sub 0. Of course, multiply with this one, so V sub 0 is equal to 80. So we have 80, okay, 80, then multiplied by sine of 35. Sine of 35 degrees. Okay, so that's why we have uh, here, uh, we have here 80 sine of 35, then multiplied by time. Uh, we have time here. Our time is already calculated, which is 1.984 seconds. So you substitute that one, then minus one half. So our A here, our acceleration. Uh, Instead of A, we use G, the gravitational acceleration that is in terms of feet because our unit here is in terms of uh, feet. No? We are given here feet per second. So we have to make use the standard value for the gravitational acceleration that is 32.2 feet per second. So that's why we have used 32.2 here. Okay, so after uh, calculating, we have 33.7 feet. So that is the value of Y. Alright, so that is our... Uh, coordinate here y coordinate okay so because y coordinate of the top of the fence is 20 plus 8 or equal to 28 feet so the projectile clears the fence uh, 20 okay this uh, the side is 20 plus 8 so 28 all right so it means uh, because the y coordinate here is 33.7 and it is only 28 so the projectile clears the fins okay so it will go over because this is only uh, 28 but we have here the calculated value for y that is 33.7 uh, feet okay so the project clears the fins we now find the flight time by setting y equal to 20 feet Okay, so to hit this one, to hit the the, the eight pound steel ball after the catapult through it, okay, it hits here. So we have to use this y equal to twenty feet. Okay, so that uh, we will be able to find the flight time, oh, flight time. So to find the flight time, we have to set y equal to twenty feet. Okay, so twenty feet. All right, so from this formula again, so we use the same formula, but now we have to substitute the value of y, which is 20 feet. Okay, so substituting, and now we get the and the new time. No, we we calculate the time here, and that is the final time, Tf. Okay, so after manipulating, so we got Tf here. So if you noticed here, if you look at this one, so you have noticed that we have the quadratic uh, equation here. Alright, so solving for TF using quadratic formula or factoring, then you will be able to solve for taking the positive value 
t if equal to 2.50 seconds. Okay, now uh, with this uh, with this time, uh, we will be able to calculate the x coordinate now using the same uh, formula here. So we use this formula, but this time we have to make use of t uh, for t considering y equal to 20 feet, and we calculated t equal to t of 2.50 seconds. So calculating, we get 164 feet as our x coordinate. As our x coordinate. So for B, that's the point of first impact that is the coordinate xy is equal to 164, that is the x value, the x coordinate. Okay, this is the x coordinate. And the y coordinate, which is 20 feet. So first impact, right? So the first impact has a coordinate. For x is 164 feet and for the y coordinate is 20 feet. Okay, so you can refer it here. So it go there. First impact at this point here. Ah, not, not there, but uh, it's some somewhere here. Right? Uh, 164 this is only one, 130, so more or less it's somewhere here. If that is 30, so another 30, for example, here, and that's more than, so most probably at this point here. So if this is 30 here, plus 34, so, so probably this is our 164. Okay, so from here up to there. So this is our 164, 164 feet, okay, at the height 20, so somewhere here, okay, so this is the impact here, first impact is at this point, okay. Now for maximum height, for the maximum height, so we use this uh, formula, v sub y squared equal to uh, v sub y sub 0 squared minus 2g times y minus uh, y sub 0. So where is that coming from? Okay, so again, uh, this formula is... Uh, coming from our previous derivation okay so this one is taken from from here okay so we will make use of this this formula all right so substituting we have uh, final velocity maximum height so when the, the sphere reaches at the maximum height, so what will be the velocity at the maximum height? So at maximum height, the velocity is equal to zero because the, the, the still sphere won't, uh, will, will neither go up nor go down at that particular uh, point, no? at a very short instant of time. So at that point, uh, our... Uh, velocity is equal to zero. So for the maximum height, the velocity is equal to zero. So substituting, all right, and then solving for, so we know this already, right? We have derived this in our previous slide. So we got this, you squared it one, then minus two g or g again, this is uh, 32.2, then multiplied by, instead of, we use s here in the formula, so we use uh, h, the height, no? the height, a certain height, maximum height, um, minus 6, so because we have here the initial height, uh, minus 6, which give us h equal to 30, 38.7 feet. 
Okay, so we got the height 37.8 feet. Okay, so for the impact velocity, now with this uh, result, so the Vx, the horizontal component of the velocity, can be calculated as Vx equal to 80 cosine uh, 35 equal to 65 feet per second. That is the vertical component of the velocity. Okay? So, at this, uh, T equal to this one. And uh, Vy, the vertical component of the velocity, is given by V sub Y equal to V sub Y sub 0 minus G times T. Okay? So, substituting, we have 80 sine 35 degrees minus our G here is 32.2. The time, the time that we had calculated in the previous slide, that, that was uh, 2.5 seconds. So it gives us 34.7 feet per second. Okay, so that's the uh, vertical component of the velocity. Now, so the impact is, as you can see, the impact here is, we have in terms of vectors, so the impact velocity is V equal to 65.5 I minus 34.7 J feet per second. So we just express the the velocity in terms of in terms of vectors. Okay, so where did we get that uh, value? Okay, so we have here the 65, that is the X component. Okay, so that's... Uh, go together with the i and the vertical component with which which this which is this one go together with the j okay so when you combine this is our uh, horizontal component this is our vertical component so so for the horizontal component that will goes to go together with the i the vertical component goes with the j for the vectorial expression of the velocity so that's why we have here 65 or our velocity uh, vector velocity or velocity in terms of vectors so 65.5 i minus 34.7 j feet per second now if v sub 0 equal to 75 feet per second so initially we have in our first case we use uh, initial velocity as 80 feet per second so what if we are going to reduce the initial velocity to 75 feet per second. Just uh, 5, five uh, feet per second decrease. So what will happen? So let us uh, calculate. Huh? If V sub 0 is equal to 75 feet per second, then the time from launch to the fence is found to be something like this. So X, same formula. You just substitute. Uh, this is still the sum of this. Okay, so we have instead of 80, we use 75, and we got T here equal to 2.12 seconds. Okay, so using that time uh, for that uh, initial velocity of 75 feet per second, so now we can calculate the corresponding value of Y. Okay, so the corresponding value of Y, uh, Y, this one. Uh, using the same formula, okay, uh, y equal to 6 plus 80, uh, it should be, sorry, okay, so we still use the same uh, uh, as this one, but this time we are going to make use of another time, the other time that you've calculated. Okay, and we got 24.9 feet. So for this launch, for this launch speed, we see that the projectile hits the fins and the point of impact is uh, 130 and 24. This is not 130,000 class, huh? 130 the X uh, value, you know, the horizontal uh, component of the point where the impact was and the 24 is the vertical okay so in other words uh, 
it should be uh, this is 130 okay so uh, this is our x but uh, but the vertical component is if this is 20 this is 28 so it's somewhere here all right so 20 24 points so almost 25 so approximately uh, at this point here okay so the impact is here so the coordinate now the coordinate of this uh, point of impact now the point of impact here is xy that is 130 so 130 so where is this 130 coming from so the 130 class is coming from the distance huh? distance from here to this point of the fins so total the total uh, distance is 130 this is the one and the 24.9 so this is the result of our calculation using this formula. So this is 24.9. This is the vertical component. So 24.9. So take note that the unit is in feet. Okay. So the unit is in terms of feet. So I hope it's clear video class. Okay. So I think that's all for this uh, part and hope you understood the explanation or the discussion class. So thank you very much and good luck to your uh, activity number five. I think this one can help a lot. No? The, this video, also the previous videos class could help you in solving the, those problems in your activity number five and also in your coming quiz number one and also midterm. So we still have to make use of this concept in order for you to uh, be able to solve those problems given in our quiz number one, ah, not quiz number one, sorry, quiz number two. Quiz number two is the quiz after prelim or before midterm, and then we'll have the midterm examination. Okay, so thank you very much and hope to see you again in our next lesson. So bye for now.